All right, we'll wait a little bit longer for more people to show up, and then we'll start right away. Hey, Quinn. Hey, Kamaya. All right. You guys ready to do some art? All right, here we go. I'm going to change my camera settings so you guys can see what's on my table. Give me one sec. All right, there we go. All right, for this project, what we're going to need is a piece of paper like how I have over here and something to draw with. I do prefer you guys use pencil, though, just in case you guys do make a mistake. Um, but for me, I'm going to be using a, a black marker just so it's easier to see on camera. Okay, but I highly suggest you use pencil instead. All right, uh, and if you guys want to use color later on, that's always optional, but it'll make your picture look a lot better, I promise. All right. So what we're going to do today is something related to the new year. And if you guys ever seen from previous years, maybe not this year, uh, fireworks to celebrate the new year. Um, that's exactly what we're going to do. Hey, Narayanan. How's it going? Mr. Mel. Uh, hey, what's up? Um, is it horizontally, the paper? That's a very good question. We are going to be going horizontal. And actually, I can probably show you guys a quick preview. Um, I did have um, Mrs. Seti and Mrs. Lowe's class earlier. So exactly what we're doing is we're going to be making uh, firework rockets, and we're going to be making the dates on them, just like this. OK? All right, so before we get started, let's plan this out accordingly. We're going to be needing to draw a total of four rectangles. And we want to make sure that they're not like long ways because we want to make sure that we fit four of the correct numbers to make the year. So we're going to write down 2021 later, but you want to make sure that they're all at least somewhat in line. So maybe I'll draw my first rectangle nice and vertical on the very far left-hand side. Maybe I'll draw it like this. Uh, and then maybe I'll draw my second rectangle, maybe a little bit higher, but a different direction like this. And then for my third rectangle, I'll want to go over here. And I think I spaced it out a little bit too far, but that's okay. I'm going to put my next rectangle right around here. It's a little bit close to the edge, but that's okay. Now, if you guys are curious, uh, kindergarten did do this project as well. Let me show you guys what kindergarten did. Their rectangles were a little bit closer together. I didn't want that. I didn't want to confuse them with being different directions. So what they did was they made the rockets completely up and down. So if you want to do what they did, you can. Here's another one from another class that they did, or I did. And then again, this is from the last first grade class. And this is the one I'm doing with you guys. All right, let's continue these rockets. Ooh, I did it kind of far apart, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys can still see it on camera. On the top of these rockets, you're gonna draw a rectangle, sorry, not a rectangle, a triangle. And if you want to have them have a pointy top, you can. So I'm going to draw a triangle on the top of each of these rectangles here and there. All right, they do like look like floating houses at the moment. Once we add more rocket stuff, it'll look a lot better. All right, there we go. Let me try to lower my table a little bit. Give me one sec. All right, maybe you guys can see it better that way. There we go. Much better. All right, my next one. I'm going to draw upside down teardrops to symbolize the flame underneath each of these rockets. So I'm going to draw maybe an upside down triangle, sorry, upside down teardrop over here. And then do it on every single rocket. Upside down teardrops. There we go. If you're having difficulty drawing the teardrops, sometimes people like to just turn their paper completely upside down like this, and then maybe you'll have an easier time drawing the teardrop. That's a cool trick. I'm not sure if I taught you guys that trick for drawing um, candy canes too. So if you ever have trouble drawing candy canes, just turn your paper upside down. All right. 
Next step, let's add some uh, dashed lines to symbolize that these rockets are actually skyrocketing up. So maybe I'll just draw three dashed lines over here, just like so. Let's draw three dashed lines over here. If I draw more than three, that's fine. Uh, something I taught the other class, if you want to curve the lines, you can. So it can look like the rocket's coming from a different direction. You can go like that if you'd like. And then for my last rocket, maybe I'll curve this direction. But you don't have to curve them if you don't want to. But it looks like they're actually moving now. Awesome. All right, next step. We're going to add we're going to add the dates to each of these rockets. So we're just going to need two number 2s for the second and third rocket. So I'm going to draw a number 2 over here. And if you want to make it into a blocky number, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the number 2 real quick. All you got to do is go at the back of the 2, go up, and then just kind of go back where you came from, but try to follow it at a good distance, just like so, and then close it off at the end. So you can do either or. You need to do a blocky number two or a regular number two. All right, no numbers changed from last year yet. And with that said, we are gonna add a number zero on the second rocket over here. I'm gonna add a second oval in the inside of that. Just like so. And since it is a new year, there is a date change, and it's right over here. So this last rocket is going to change into a number one. So you can do a regular number one like that. Or if you want to make a blocky, let's go from the bottom, go over, and go up a little bit. And then I like to add a little bit of a point to the top. There you go. All right. Good job. All right. There's only a couple more steps here. And this part, I do need to use pencil because I do want to erase it later. So uh, what I like to do in order to make my fireworks, I like to make my X's in the sky like this. And then with an X, I like to divide it in half with a vertical line and a horizontal line. And I drew this as lightly as possible with pencil because I'm going to erase it later. And then before I add more X's all over the place, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do my fireworks in color. So all I do is I just kind of take my coloring supply and I make these lines into dotted lines, like so. So maybe I'll go vertical and horizontal with the same color. I chose green. And then for the X in that same shape, I will do purple dotted lines here. There we are. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit because it is done in marker, so I can't erase my pencil line yet. So while I'm waiting, I guess I can add some more fireworks here and there. So maybe I'll add an X over here. Maybe I'll add an, an X and a T over here. Maybe one right here. And probably one more right over right here, probably. All right, I added a bunch of fireworks, so I have a lot of work to do here. So why don't I get started here? I'm gonna add this one to make it look like orange. Maybe I'll make this one on top orange as well. All right, I don't think I have a red firework yet. I'll make this one red. Um, let's see, I want to make this far one green. Um, I don't think I have blue yet. So I'll make this one blue. And let's see, I want this one purple a little bit. There we are. And I don't think I've used yellow yet, so I'm going to use yellow for this one. All right, now I can go back to my eraser and start erasing my pencil lines, starting with the first one I did. 
So now it looks nice and clean. There we are. All right. I have a couple more tips to show you guys when drawing this uh, project. Um, for instance, the bottom flame underneath these rockets. Um, I like to do a little uh, yellow circle right on top. And then what I do is that I take an orange and I kind of just color the top portion of this teardrop. And I try to avoid the bottom tip of it. And then I add red to, very, to the very bottom. And it kind of looks more like a flame. There you go. That's a quick tip you could do. I'm just going to add yellow to each of these here and there. Add my orange. I'm make sure I'm avoiding the bottom portion of the flame. All right, and then I'm going to add my red. All right, for decorating the rockets, you could have done anything you'd like. So if you wanted to add stripes, like how I'm doing right now, you can. Um, if you want to add zigzags or wavy lines, you could do that as well. Any patterns you'd like, you can decorate your rockets any way you want. So I'll do stripes on that one. Maybe I'll do horizontal stripes for this one. And then maybe I'll do wavy lines or zigzags for this one. Up to you. All right. For the most part, mine is all done. If you wanted to add way more fireworks, you could have. And that's it. That's going to be our first project of the year. All right. I am going to turn off my camera in a sec so you guys can see me. I'll leave it up here for a tad bit longer. And if you're done, um, you could do exactly what um, Zilola is doing. And she's holding up to the camera so we all can see. Oh, I see someone raising their hand. Carter, do you have a question? No? All right. I'm going to flip my camera around so you can see me. There we go. All right. So if you want to share yours with the rest of the class and me, you can hold it up. Kathy, good job. Owen, good job with your fireworks. Awesome job. If you want to save it and show your teacher, Mrs. Rednick, uh, when you guys have her tomorrow, you guys can save it. It'd be kind of cool. Oliver, good job. Awesome job, everybody. All right, I'm going to stop with the recording.